to start with the review of the spell. Be ready with your book. Remember, we're not going to copy. You already copied that in your notebook, in your book, sorry. But you can have your book to see the definitions of the, the vocabulary from the units one, two, and three. I have a question. Tell me, Anna. The question is, in the exam is 25 questions. Mm, yes, can be 25, they can be 15, they can be 20, yes. 30? No, I don't think the 30 question. I'm, I don't think. Maybe well, just in one exam, but you can be, it can be like 20, 20, 15, 19, not too much. But that is less of 25 because in third grade are 25. 25 questions in all the exams? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, in fourth grade, you are going to find exams that they can have like 15, 19 questions, but don't worry about it. If you study for the exams, you are not going to feel difficult of the exams also. Okay, in the best you have, you have yeah. remembered that for all the exams, you have time. You have like one hour and a half, like 90, 90 minutes. So you take your time to answer that question. I have a question. Tell me. Um, in the exam, um, I think if I had it, um, it, it this is example math. Um, first one, and mm -hmm. then we have come on three hours and and have reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to share the schedule. When I have the schedule, I'm going to show you the time, the hour that you are going to have the exam. Remember that before the exam, we have a, a review, we have reviews. So don't worry about it. Now, let's continue with the review of spelling. Remember yesterday we talked about some words from unit number one and words from unit number two. Here I, I have the pictures. Remember, we talk about the meaning of celebrity, council, demonstrate, we talk about also what is the meaning of drowsy, essential, hardship, the other words like whole, humble, late, sincere, stampede, and suitable. We discuss the meaning of these words from unit number one in page number eight. We also talk about the words from unit number two in page number 18. We talk about the meaning and synonyms and some antonyms for the word annual, basic, competition, contract, dismiss, neglect, obtain, portion, recall, sponsor, staring, and backhand. So all these words yesterday we discussed. Miss, now, do you have any question about this, this vocabulary? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Stern, uh, I'm not sure it's the same Popa in Spanish, a part of a boat. I don't know what is this. Okay, Stern, remember that it has two meanings. It has two meanings. One meaning, it, the word can be an adjective. It means no kindly or gentle, harsh looking. So it means it's, a, it's an antonym. It's an antonym of being gentle. So it's the contrary. It's the contrary. And also, if that word, it works like a noun, it means the back end of a boat. The boat, you know what is a boat, Rebecca? Yes? Okay, the boat, it has different parts. So we're talking about the backpack, the back end. So uh, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to show you maybe in the picture of wool. I can find some picture and you can see what is, what is that. Okay, Gabriela Gigurems. I don't, I don't understand the word neglect and recall. Okay, neglect. Okay, neglect, remember, it's it's when you, this, well, not this means that you ignore, to ignore, you forget to do something that you don't give attention. For example, to the flowers or the plants, you can neglect the plants, you don't pour water, so they're going to die, right? So that's neglect. Okay. So when you don't you don't give the care, the love, the needs that that, that something needed. That's okay. neglect. And what is the other word? Um, Gabriela. Recall. 
recall. That's number nine, right? Recall, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Recall is to remember something. When you remember something, for example, you can recall the activities, the exams that you saw or you, you did when you were in third grade. You recall, you have some memories and the past, that's recall, to remember what happened one, two, three, four years or a long time ago. That's recall, when you remember something. Okay, thank you, Miss. Excellent. Miss. Tell me, Anna. You have kids. Kids? No, I no yet, no yet. Okay, and let's... What, what is bad hand? Backhand, okay, what is backhand? It's number 12, right? Okay, backhand is something that is empty, that it's not used. For example, Anna, it says this bus has no more backhand seats. Imagine that you want to go uh, by bus to travel to another place on a bus and all the seats are occupied or are occupied. So it means there is no backhand. There is not a space for you to sit down on a seat. That's back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now let's review the meaning of the unit number three. You can look page number 28. Yes, that's page oh. 28. If you have your book, you can look so you can follow the reading also. In page 28, we have the unit number three, the vocabulary. We need to remember the vocabulary, synonyms, and antonyms. Yes. But this page that we have this is so easy because he have the answer. Yes. yes. Now, number one, the vocabulary is attractive. What is attractive, class? What is attractive? Attractive. That's in Spanish, something that is beautiful. I know. Attractive, something that's beautiful. Someone that is attractive. For example, we say Rebecca is attractive. It's, it's beautiful. It, she calls the attention of the people. Okay, that's attractive. In Spanish, Anna says that word. Now, what is boarded? What is boarded? We have that meaning. We, if we don't know, we have the meaning here. Boarding, it's something that is carried, load, something that is very hard to bear. So we have here. It's something that you are moving, right? It's it's something that you are moving, but it, it weighs a lot. So tell me. Boarding is carga. Mm -hmm. That's right, you're saying in Spanish, that word. So it's a weight, it's a baggage, it's hardship. Carga. Mm. That's in Spanish, the word. Now, let's let's see number three, consent. Consent is to agree, to approve, to do something. For example, your mom can consent you to do something if you are asking for permission, so she's going to allow you to, to permit you to do something. Consent is consentimiento. Consent. For example, if you are if you are asking your mom to have a new cell phone, for example, that's a, just an example. She can allow you to have it, so she is going to consent for you to have in that. So that's consent. Number four, dependable. Dependable, it's capable of being relied on, trustworthy. No mm. That's dependable. It says a taxi driver needs a dependable car that always starts even in bad weather. So it means that it needs something that is reliable, responsible. What is an antonym for dependable? It's something that it's untrustworthy. It's undependable. That's dependable. Okay, let's go to number five. Awesome. That's number five. It's indicate. What does it mean, indicate, class? Indicate. I think. Mm -hmm. I think in Spanish, indicate. Yeah, I, but how do you English, explain English? In English, I think. Um, I, for example, my my sister might want to know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tell me, but this is the direction of the tan, la tienda of a. Of the market? Mm -hmm. Of the market? My mom is the market. So I have the market. That's right. That's a good example. See, Jan, tell me. Excellent, Rebecca. 
To Marshall, sing me say. Sing me back. There are synonyms to mark, to shove, signify, suggest. Excellent. That's indicate. To shove, you have to do something. To explain how to do something, to mark. That's indicate. Excellent. Excellent um, synonym, Sian. And thank you, Rebecca, for your example. That's great. A good example. Now, what is number six? We have the word previous. 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 What does it mean? Mm -hmm. It's something that comes before, right? It's something that happens before. Synonyms. Early presenting. Mm -hmm. That's right, Sijan. Early presenting prior past. Something that happened before, right? That's previous. So, previous of Christmas, what is the celebration that we have, class? Previous Christmas. What is the uh, celebration before Christmas? What we celebrate? For anything? <laughs> Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is previous Christmas, yes. right? Oh, yeah. Previous New Year, previous having New Year, what we celebrate? When is, we celebrate Christmas, right? Previous New yeah, Year, we celebrate Christmas. Christmas. That's right. So that's previous, something that comes before, comes before. Okay, qualify. What is the meaning of qualify? To be or become fit for something to mean or narrow the meaning of. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's qualified. To become, you have to fit something. For example, here we have the example it says, you must be 18 years old to qualify to vote in a national election. So you need to qualify. You need to have that age to qualify for body. If you don't have that age, you don't qualify. So qualify is like the requirements that you need Qualidad. for something. No, in Spanish, not to do. Well, qualify. Okay, try to say it in English. Try to say it in English. I know that you look for the word in Spanish. Try to say it in English. Qualify. The qualify is to fit something, uh, Marcelo. Qualify is the requirements that you need for something. For example, if you if you want to participate um, in a competition, football competition, you need something to qualify. What do you need to qualify to be part of a football uh, team? What do you think that Tennis? you need? You need the tackles, mm. or the, the soccer shoes, right? The, the tackles. Pad, tackles? The soccer shoes. How to know how to play? know how to play you need to know the rules of uh, the Double. football game mm -hmm. have a good opinion mm -hmm. yes. so you need something basic to qualify to qualify to be part of that maybe you need an age if they can tell you you don't qualify because you are you are 10 years old and we're looking someone that it's 20 years for example so qualify is to have the things that uh that the requirements to fit to fit in something. Now, number eight, response. What is response, class? Um, response is a one example. Right? Mm -hmm. um, today we going we going to and my dad all my homework. I um today we going to um, back to practice um the math reading spelling for math exam. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you are going to do that, all the themes. But response means to, it's a reaction of doing something. So, for example, my sister is still waiting for a response to her letters. Response, it's, it's to answer. Response, mm -hmm. it's answer. That's a synonym, answer. Tell me who was, Camila, I think. Camila, you want to share something? No, uh, I entendí que era responsabilidad, mm, or no. Okay, to respond, it's to answer in, his, in, in, in the same of answer. What does it mean, answer? It means also respond, yes. That, that it can be, depends of the, of the context. So it's to reply or answer a reaction to something. My homework is my recipe. <laughs> copy this. 
You don't have to copy this, Santiago. You, you already have this in your book. If you already look, page 28, you, you complete it. If you didn't finish, you must finish. Okay, number nine. What is Chevy class? What is Chevy? War or uh, war are bad from my word. Mm. Shelby means that run down. And Tony's elegance run lavish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shabby, it means something. For example, you can have clothes that they are shabby. They are too old that they look in a shabby way. If the, the clothes that they are too old, they can have holes. They can have holes, some clothes. They are shabby because it says the shell shiver is the shabby old coat. Imagine that you're using a coat that it's too old. It's too old the coat. You are going to feel the weather, all the weather, what's happening. So that's shabby. Is it clear what is shabby class or not? No. Please. No. Mm. Santiago Chavez. No. no, you don't have to copy this. Sijan, how is question? Tell me, Sijan. In response, synonym, what is means? Esto ya no es And a response and acknowledgement. Mm. This one? Praise all. Acknowledgement. Pero por qué está todo junto? It's one word. That's a word. It's a long word. Acknowledgement. It's a long word. Acknowledgement. Yes, acknowledgement. That's a long, yes, yeah. It's a long, that word, but uh, that word exists, yeah. Now, shabby, is it clear what is shabby class? Yes or no? Or you are not sure? No. Oh. Sure. Okay, shabby, it's something that it's rage, round down, mean, rage, unkind. So, Anthony, look at the antonyms for shabby. Elegant, that's the contrary of shabby. Grand, lavish, generous, kind. So, it means that shabby is the contrary of elegant. If you have clothes, elegant, they're in good conditions. Yeah, that's right. They're in a good conditions. But shabby means that the clothes, they are not in good condition. It's too old. They can have holes. For example, the people that you see on the streets, uh, some people live on the street. Do you see that's the, the, those people that live on the street? They are asking you for money or for food on the streets. Have you ever seen those people? Yes? Well, those people, they use shabby clothes. They use shabby clothes because they don't have money to buy new new clothes or elegant. So we can say that they use shabby, uh, shabby clothes. They, it's too old. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, let's go to number 10. We have thaw. What is the meaning of thaw? Remember that thaw means something to, that it's melt. To melt, mm -hmm. to melt or cause to melt or to warm up. Gradually, they let the turkey. That's right. That's wow. thought. Thought means melted. Something that is melted. For example, if you have a pop cycle, pop cycle in your refrigerator, then you want to eat that pop cycle and you put it on the, on the table and you forgot it. It's going to start melting, right? It's going to start melting. It's going to become liquid, the pop cycle. Or if you have an ice cream, uh, ice cream and you forgot it to eat it and you leave it in one place out of the refrigerator and it's going to start melting it's going to start thawing that's thaw it's a season yes yeah, that's in spanish thaw excellent Rebecca. number 11 argent what is argent i think argent argent e e say one person is urgent um I urgent um, for it's, go to the it's a, I in, it's, it's a oh, it's it's in it's in that mean emergency attention. It's emergency. That's right. It's something that you need immediate attention. For example, it's urgent that we need to leave this the, uh, the house because there is a fire. It's urgent that you need to send your homework because that today is the last day that you you have chance to send it. So that's urgent. It's something that you need to do it immediately immediately in something that calls the attention 
or in the action. You need to action. Now, what is number 12? It's vanity. What does it mean, vanity class? The quality of the things take up or rain hands to not fry, clean wash, lids, or notice a dress to table. That's right, vanity. It's been stuck up or being someone that is too proud of them of himself. That's vanity. Yes, synonyms, conceit, arrogance, antonyms. We have modesty, humility. So vanity is someone that they have a lot of vain is vanity. It's the contrary of being humble. Humble is the contrary of vanity. Questions about the meaning of this word, class? I know I'm just saying no. it's vanity. 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 In Spanish, we can say like vanidoso. No, me. But what is vanidoso? You don't know what is vanidoso? Okay. No. No. Who knows what is vanidoso? You can explain in Spanish. It would be one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Valerie, Valerie explains what is vanidoso. Okay, but explain what that is. Vanidoso is. Es como creído, como si yo se cree que tiene, no sé. Como creído, como presumido. Presumido, that's right, Joshua. Presumido. Que es el mejor, como que sos intocable. That's right, that's vanity. You explain it, excellent. Now you know what is vanity, what is vanity also in Spanish. Excellent. Es arrogante, Okay, that's vanity. Now, any other question about this? Khaled, tell me. Vanity no es vanidoso. What is vanity? Algo que está libre. Algo que está libre. Okay, yes, that's another translation. You find it on Google, right? That's the translation. Okay, yes, but that's vanity. In Spanish, we can say in that way also. Now, let me stop sharing here. Why? Because we're going to solve the activity that yesterday we, we didn't finish this, remember? And we have another game also. Now, I'm going to share that one. Link, uh, link, 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 link. No, you're link. not going to have a link because we're going to do it together. The, for the second uh, one, I'm going to send you the link. This one, no, we're going to do it together. Now, if you remember, we're going to use the vocabulary from the units that we studied today and yesterday to complete this. So now, for example, number one, yesterday we sold, the grass was crushed in the stampede. That's right, the grass began to stampede. Now, number two, what, what do you think is going to be for number two? Read the sentence and tell me what's the end. If we were to go and take away that trash, I heard of that gems were found in the town. Were found in the town. It's going to put away the trash. It's essential. It's essential. Do you think it's essential? Why are we still in the town? Conjo. 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 Valerie, put away that, Valerie. At, who say what? What is your answer? Sorry? Council. 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 Okay. Council. Okay. Council. Okay. That's right. Number three. Oh, oh, I learned it before oh, that, John. Yeah. You try trying to the nervous class. Humble. 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 The lead humble. Okay. Are you? Okay. Humble. We're, I'm going to put the answer. Then we're going to check the answer. Number four. Humble. The answer yeah, team teacher means for a good health. In a small suitcase, pack only that. Suitable. 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 Okay. Suitable. Number five. This is two yeah, as yeah, a yeah, yeah. One bag will be not the pro storage. A ring is a to marry his is the candida to eat his hardship. 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 Now we're going to check the answer. Now we're going to complete the pattern. We're going to complete. So let's see, Sijan. You're going to help me to read Sijan. For example, number seven, we're going to find the answer number seven. Sijan, read the paragraph. The little toes and turn at 
at night. Some people have insomnia and they and find that falling asleep is a seven. It's a Bonzo. seven. No, number seven. What do you think matching number seven? Bonzo. Blage said Kaler. Blage. Put the chef sends Blage. What do you think? Do you tell to turn at night? Some people have insomnia. Find that feeling falling asleep. It's a something that is oh. difficult. Blage. No, hardship, hardship. 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 Means Continue hardship. reading. Continue reading, Sian. This happened to many people with her. They are a regular joy. Or a? Or a? Essential. There can be regular people. Regular Joe means, Joe, this is an expression that American, uh, well, people from the United States used to indicate general people. People like Central. general, the average people, the average man that you can. Sorry. Essential. Council. Council. What is the contrary of being uh, a normal people that is not famous? Or a. Okay. Let's see. You say essential. Continue with the reading. There are tips that you there are tips that you can help. Mm -hmm. One, One is sleep it? in a in a room that is dark and quiet. What do you think here? Drowsy. 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 Okay, continue reading. Number two. Two. Half a small is now. You want to you want to feel if you're thinking about for food. Okay. What do you think number 10? Sweetable. Yes, sir. Sweetable. Okay, let's put sweetable. Then I'm going to show you the answer. If okay, number here, number three. 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 Have a good sleepers. Their habits. Mm -hmm. Good sleepers. Number eleven. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Mm, the last one. It's when someone shows that to a person how makes a and for to try their sleep their son. Better soon. What do you think is going to be number 12? Self check. We're going to check the answer now. Here we have some mistake. Number one, it was SMP, that's right. Number two, a private company will, will counsel, was the answer counsel. Why? Because it's going to give you an advice. It, uh, it's going to give you a counsel, a way to try a huge counsel. Now, number three, you mentioned humble. The, okay, the answer was, you answer a counsel, the answer was humble. The let humble, we're talking about a humble people. Humble people argue before the judge. Number four, you say that it was essential, but the answer was suitable. There are 13, there are 13, there are 13, okay, essential, yes, no, this one is the correct, you say suitable. There are 13 essential vitamins for good health. In small sweet case, pack only the essential. Number 15, you say whole, but the answer is humble. This humble stew has only meat and potatoes. Number six, you say hardship, but we're talking about pledge. Remember, the pledge means something that you promise to do. So that ring, the ring that the girls use, your mom, the mom I use, the ring, it's a pledge to marry. When they're going to get married, they use the ring. So it's a pledge, it's a promise. And for the here, we have the hardship. What's number one? That's correct. Number two was celebrity. Remember that we're talking about people, normal people and celebrity, people that they are famous, number eight. Then there are tips that can help sleep on a, on a suitable room. Suitable, that was the answer. Suitable because it match, it fits something. Have a small snack, you won't feel, you won't feel Drowsy, remember that drowsy was number 10 because drowsy means that you are not falling asleep. 
and have good slippers to demonstrate their habits. Number 11 was demonstrate, and the last one was sincere. Let's see. Demonstrate sincere. and sincere. That's right. Now, I'm going to share this link so you can practice this to match uh, the synonyms with the antonyms here, and you can find that. You can practice by yourself. So with this, we're going to finish the class. Any question before we Bye, me. No, no questions. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for class. Bye.